the British historian Arnold Toynbee has rightly pointed out that nations must inevitably face challenges. As a rule, however, challenges fall into two categories, the intractable and the tractable. The former form of challenge is so severely adverse as to cripple us. The latter non-crippling challenge, however, is a regular feature of nature's functioning as laid down by the Creator. Nature creates such situations to challenge and motivate people to strive to their utmost, thus unfolding their hidden potential and providing to be the stepping stones to further progress. Realism, however, shows that the moment we feel we have taken a wrong step, we must immediately take a U-turn in order to save ourselves from disaster. Let us take the example of Germany. Germany met its challenges through violence. In post-Second World War period, Germans, after suffering the ultimate challenge of a crushing defeat, followed realism and took a U-turn to reconstruct their nation and emerge as the most powerful nation of Europe. Life is a kind of trial for both individuals and nations in a sense that they are put to test by challenges of varying degrees of tractability. One who opts for the realistic course of action will reach his goal, while one who strives to achieve what is in reality unattainable will certainly be doomed to failure. 